Hey, this is Jeff Waters with David Elson's coffee in my hand here at NAM, and you're watching The Metal Voice. We're here, this is Neil Turbin with the Metal Voice. Yeah, it is. And we're here with Jeff Waters, the one and only from Annihilator, man. Goofy Canadian from Annihilator. Uh, honored to meet this guy, for sure. And honored to meet you, and it's amazing to find you here all the way from England. You got it. Strange, uh, Canadian in England, but that's the way it worked out, yeah. And now you're here in, in, in uh, Anaheim at the yeah. NAMM Show 2024. Yeah. And we're just on the other side of Dave Ellison and Jeff Young. With Dave Ellison's Coffee Company Coffee, yeah, we we're just talking Hitting my about system. That. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. It's good coffee. <laughs> so tell us about you. You know, you're got a, you're working on new music. Are you putting out an album soon, or any time in the near distance? New future? music, yes. Not with Annihilator. I've been doing this Annihilator thing for, well, it's 35 years now since I put my little first album out called Alice in Hell, and uh, we're just gonna do a show in a uh, festival in Europe this year. But I've been working on what all us guys seem to want to do when they get step away from a band they're in is a solo project so I got cool. a solo thing I'm doing finished three records in the last three years and uh, that's coming out but right now I'm just cruising around North America on vacation having fun that's great that's yeah. good that's, that's really great and what do you think uh, being back here in the States because I'm sure you've played here yeah. many tours well for me we haven't done a lot of stuff we did in our earlier days which was 89 to 93 but essentially I just, most of my band's career has been in Europe and Japan and a bit of South America. And it worked out good because we had a lot of following there and I full time worked there, but I miss being in the States. So I vacation here a lot, so. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a good place to come. Yeah, it's like Especially 50, now. 50, 50 plus different countries you can cover in one area, so. So tell us about uh, the music that you're doing on your solo record. Is that uh, yeah, it's, is I, that a lot different than Annihilator? Is well, it this pandemic thing or whatever you call it? It's even a bad word now, isn't it? Um, you know, I I live in England. I've had a studio with my wife uh, there for about six years, and just before that whole thing hit, we brought in an SSL, exchanged consoles, and upgraded things, and made it into one badass mixing studio. And then the thing hit, so I was kind of stuck with this beautiful studio and instruments and all this fun stuff. And I thought, screw it, now's the time to just get creative and do something outside of the heavy metal thing. So it's more uh, hard rock stuff. It's everything from <laughs> disco to uh, the knack to cool. uh, kiss to like early stuff. Excellent. You know, hard rock, heavy metal, 70s, 80s, a bit of Van Halen, of course. So it's not a groundbreaking, amazing new stuff kind of come out for me. It's more like a tribute in a way in my own. So, you, so are you singing on the whole album, or do you have singers God, on it? No, or? I got real singers. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, I that's cool that you're singing, and you got real singers. Stu Block uh, was in the Ice Earth, I know Stu. In Eternity and all that. Fellow Canadian, great singer. I tapped him, but I, the, the deal with Stu was, I knew he was like an incredible metal singer. And I know, you know, I sort of tapped him and a few other things, but I could hear in him that he had everything from Michael Jackson, George Michael, into some bluesy stuff. Nice. But nobody's ever tapped him on that as a producer or writer. Cool. So I said, would you be interested in trying something different? And he's like, I don't know, what do you mean? And and we basically you'll not you won't be able to know it's him. It's fantastic. That's cool. Well, it's congratulations really on that. Amazing. So he's singing on the entire album. Yeah, he did a couple of the albums with me, yeah. Great, great, great. Yeah. Fun. And, and when and when do you think that might be coming our way? I think it, some of that, the first one starts coming out, I think, uh, summer. Okay, that's great. Yeah. I don't know a lot of information because I decided to do something a little different. I tried to go with the first album to a few record companies, and it was like, oh boy, this isn't the old days, right? It's a different thing, yeah. So I instead of just trying to just let it go and let it get out there and know that nothing was really going to happen, I tried a different, direct, or different idea, and I went to video game companies. That's cool. I thought, hey, what if I did an album or three? It gave you the album covers, gave you the booklets, gave you the, the trademark, the name of the band, the logo, and I, you can have all three of them. It's gone. I don't get royalties. I don't get anything if it does well. But I want one paycheck. And that's uh, the second company I went to. Without being a dick, we got more money from 
did video game company than I sure. did in five or six Annihilator records. So hey, that's a good business paid deal. Me to do a solo album more than my real band. That's good business, so man. They just paid the bills and it helped pay for that console I was telling you about. And yeah, now you don't have to worry about that console but sitting you know, there. It's like you get out of a band that's doing something for a while and you you try something different, right? And you could also tour their albums and. That. Keep that. I'm an old man now. Oh, you don't want to go out there. Than you for sure. I don't know about that. <laughs> I gotta recover from my uh, my laziness from the, sitting in, in a chair in the studio for the last three four years. But yeah, yeah. coming to Nam, for example, and seeing a lot of musicians and seeing some that are older than me that are in better shape and that are just adrenalinized on talking about what they're doing and what they're gonna do in the two tours and shows and. And that even Elfson, even Dave Elfson, he's, he's all these projects and all this stuff, it's made me realize, you know, you gotta get off your ass and uh, enjoy the, I don't know, the privilege, the honor that you still have people that wanna hear your music and get in shape and get out there and do it and smile. Yeah, Dave is fast <laughs> and furious. He's always doing yeah, stuff. Yeah, well, I see you around all the time too, I'm, so. I'm just trying to, you know, squirrel trying to get a nut. You know, just trying to climb up the tree, but Dave is all over, you know, he's always killing Yeah, he is, yeah, killing you're right. Him. Okay, he beats us both. Well, you're killing it too. <laughs> and you got albums coming out. Slowly, yeah. That's good. Thanks. Well, it's so great to see you, Jeff, and great to meet you finally. Yeah. I love yeah. your work. Great to meet this guy, for sure. And, uh, you know, just a pleasure to, to talk with you today. I don't want to keep you for too long. I know Nam no. is going to close early today. But, oh, it uh, is? Yeah, oh, they okay. close about 4 o'clock, I think. Oh, yeah. But uh, any, any other... Uh, any other news about like any show dates? I know you guys are playing some festivals. We've got a festival maybe. in June with um, I think Scorpions play the. This is what I remember from it. Scorpions the Thursday, us the Friday, and Five Finger Death Punch the Saturday. So cool. we're just doing like a, a one-off with Stu Block singing for us. Sorry, right, that's okay. Sorry, Stu Block singing for us. Brought back the original drummer that did the Alice in Hell record. Beautiful. We're gonna do that album. And just have fun and do a one-off, and then the following year we'll just go out and work real proper. <laughs> cool. And, and what about Canadian dates? Are you guys going to go to play in Montreal or anywhere in Canada? We really, you know what? I'm you guys always, are from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm always mostly in the States. Friends, places, uh, vacations. I love Vegas. Just, you know, i got a lot of friends in the States and I love it, but it's about time I got off my ass and tried to do a show here. Great. I'm always scared to. I'm always scared nobody will want to see it. So well, People will want it. I, I think know. so. I don't know. <laughs> I hope so. There's promoters that'll put a nice a nice show together for you, I'm sure. I hope. Maybe it's we'll such, do a such, show together. That would be amazing. But it's such a great honor and pleasure for me. So. Thank you.